into part two, where we will introduce you to the basics of the APA style. There are two parts to the APA style, a citation and a reference list. A citation should appear in your text whenever you refer to the ideas or work of another author. Exactly how this looks will depend on the referencing style that you use. We often refer to it as an in-text citation. A reference list is a complete listing of all the books, journal articles, websites and other sources that you have referred to in a piece of work. Let's look at citation first. In the APA style, an in-text citation follows a name, comma, date system. You include the author's surname and the year of publication in brackets, often at the end of a sentence. Sometimes it's also necessary to include the page number as well, but you'll see an example of this in the next slide. In the majority of cases, no matter what type of resource you're using, the format of an in-text citation remains the same. Here we have examples of in-text citations and what they look like in a piece of writing. We have our direct quotations marked in blue. You will see that we indicate they are quotations by using quotation marks. Following the quotations are the in-text citations marked in red. Because we have quoted the authors directly, we include the author's surname, comma, year of publication, comma, and the page number of where we took the quote from. You can see that there are slightly different rules for an in-text citation, depending on whether you're quoting, which is using an author's exact words, or paraphrasing, which is putting someone else's words or ideas into your own words. Let's take a look at these two now. When you're quoting another person word for word, you should distinguish their words from your own writing using quotation marks. You must also include the page number of the original quote. So the format of your in-text citation for a quotation will be, author surname, comma, year, comma, page number. It's preferable that you paraphrase as too many quotations can lead to a poorly written assignment. If you have paraphrased a piece of text, you do not need to include a page number in your in-text citation, but you still need to credit the author in text and in your reference list. So the format of your in-text citation when paraphrasing will be author surname, comma, and the year. For your reference list, this is a complete list of all the resources that you have referred to in your piece of work with an in-text citation. The reference list is arranged in alphabetical order by the author's surname. The format for a reference list entry changes depending on the source you are referring to. It's important to check a guide to make sure you have used the correct elements and format for the type of source you are using. Here we have a reference list example. You can see the full details of the sources cited in text are included in the list and it is arranged alphabetically by author surnames. Let's take a look at the in-text citations and see the reference list side by side to see how they link up. You can see each of the in-text citations have a full entry in the reference list. The author's names match. So that's why it's important to list them alphabetically in the re reference list. Let's go now to the third part and take a look at how to format reference list entries.